biggest night for one former Ohio State Buckeye player's life. But one large gray shadow hovers over that night. It has come out that he has been named in a police report accused of sexually assaulting a woman in Cleveland earlier this month. Right now, Gary and Conley, a cornerback from Massillon, has not been charged, but he is trying to get into a league that's been battling an image problem of domestic violence and sexual assault claims. He also hasn't been interviewed by Cleveland police as of yet, and we wanted to know why. News 5's Megan Hickey has been digging into the facts of this case, and Megan, legal experts say it's being handled differently. Right, it's been 17 days, but Cleveland police say they're still trying to track him down for an interview. Whether or not charges are filed, legal experts say that it appears that this case is being treated differently. And that investigation began almost immediately, almost exactly an hour after a woman alleged she was sexually assaulted in the bathroom of this downtown Cleveland hotel. Police took statements from the victim and other witnesses in the hotel room, collected a rape kit from the victim at the hospital. But that's where this investigation appears to have stalled, according to rape law expert and criminal law professor Patricia Falk. It's really important to interview the person who's accused of the crime as soon as possible to get that story on the record. Falk said that if the suspect is known, the period immediately following the report is the most crucial time to collect an official statement. It depreciates the seriousness of the mm -hmm. offense if um, a prompt investigation isn't going to follow. Legal experts and football fans alike wobbly one downfield. agree that Conley has a lot at stake. The cornerback is projected to go in round one of tomorrow's draft. Coming up to make the pick was Gary and Conley. And Falk says it's that celebrity status that could be drawn things out. This is taking a long time. The status of the possible defendant might have uh, contributed to this delay. While he has yet to be formally interviewed, in a statement today, Conley responded to the allegations. The things that are being said about me and what happened that night are not true and don't fit my character at all, he said in part. He continued, I realized that I put myself in the situation and I could have used better judgment. Falk says Conley, like everyone else, is innocent until proven guilty. But it's the investigative process to determine if a crime actually happened. Justice is supposed to be blind. That appears to have been hampered. The idea that we're not treating every person the same under our criminal justice system is really problematic. Now again, no charges have been filed in this case. Conley said as a result of these accusations, he does not plan to attend the NFL draft in person tomorrow night. Live in Cleveland.